I haven't washed my hair in over 300 days, so let's make a sea salt spray and see what it does. I was told the hair has to be moist. Oh, I should probably have taken my shirt off. That's okay. Blessed with lovely thick hair. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> All right, one cup of warm water, filtered or distilled. I imagine it's warm so that the salt dissolves. Does it taste different? Does, mm, I don't know. One tablespoon of all natural sea salt. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I got all natural sea salt instead of natural sea salt. And it's always good to carry all of the teaspoons with you. I also read that you should be getting fine as well. I guess that's so it dissolves better. How am I gonna fit that in there? I've got a funnel from my ant farm. <laughs> You having a laugh, son. Can't shake it with my left hand. Can't do it with my right either. Funnel's too small. Oh gosh. One teaspoon of aloe vera gel. This is after sun. Excuse me. That'll do. One to two drops of essential oils. Now, I was thinking about using some Ones that you'd put in a humidifier. But I kind of want to try it with avocado oil. That's essential to the kitchen. Oh shit. Excuse my French. All right, and then just shake it up. Make sure it's just moist. Actually, I don't think moist is right. I think damp is probably the right word. All right, I saw something about like holding the hair back. It's way too open or closed. Which way do I do it? Seems better. <laughs> All I can smell is aloe vera. <laughs> well, my hair won't be getting any sunburnt. I think I've sprayed too much. Normally I just shower, towel dry, and then push my hands through it. But should we try the old TikTok flick? Oh, honey. At the back of the head. So you only need a few squirts, actually. And when you buy sea salt spray, you're probably paying for the actual squirt bottle to be good, not the actual ingredients. Seems to give me volume. Does it look good or waste of time? <laughs> there you go.